We have Dr. Moon here with us today, and she's going to be speaking on the topics that she um, sees most relevant regarding women's health. Dr. Moon. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Moon. Um, I would like to share um, from my experience working with women um, regarding from the aspect of hormonal health, um, because we I think the basic understanding of hormones and how it works, there are some, lots of things that tie into our hormonal health. And I'd like to share some tips of um, how I help people, um, help women restore hormonal balance. Some of the key points that we um, talk about is um, the relationship between your energy system and your hormone system. And, um, you know, I think that some common patterns that we see in women are that you um, try to put too much in a day, too much in a month, too much in a year, and you do so much and um, live every day as if um, it's two. And you ask your body to do that much. Um, but your hormone system actually is tied with the hormones that give you energy to do things. And so in a way, you kind of borrow your hormones to go do things, to have energy and um, ask your body to be geared towards uh, activity to tick off your to-do list. Um, and then you wonder why, um, you know, maybe monthly basis, your breast gets sore, you get menstrual cramps, um, you have heavy bleeding, or um, when you go through menopause, um, why it gets more and more challenging and the hot flashes, despite herbs or whatever um, hormones, um, that you can still struggle with hot flashes. Um, in essence, you know, your body is smart and you can't really cheat the system um, by trying to um, cheat your body out of rest and trying to live your life on double time. Um, in despite all of our technology and natural medicine, how wise it is, uh, your body is still a system that has a circadian rhythm, has a um, on and off cycle where it can do things and then it needs time to repair and rest. And your hormone cycle, uh, your hormone balance um, really hinges on that. And so when it's always on the on mode and um, on double time and doesn't get the, get the other side of the cycle enough, uh, your hormone system necessarily becomes off balance. Um, and so um, some of the things that you know, come from uh, looking at how much you're doing um, comes the topic of, you know, that saying where you're supposed to do for others what you would like for yourself. But often what I find um, more importantly is for you to do for yourself what you would like to do for your loved ones. Um, and let me tell you, it is not an easy thing to be able to actually implement in real life. Um, where um, many of us so easily give the best to your children, your loved ones, your parents, um, your spouse, and to be able to do the same for yourself, it requires a lot. Um, what does it require? It requires a lot of actually self-respect and self-love and seeing yourself as equally important. Um, to be able to give to yourself, there is a lot behind the ability to give to yourself. And um, it's not as easy as deciding that, oh, I'm going to take better care of yourself. How are you going to be able to receive that love and care to yourself? 
um, really try it and challenge yourself and see uh, when is easy and when is it difficult to because those things are so important um, and some of the places that that balance of give and take shows up is not only um, in reflected in your relationship with other people but that give and take relationship um, also shows up in your breast health um, that might not seem so related but if you think about um, how you watch a movie and uh, maybe you're uh, get to a part which is really inciting and you're like anticipating you know oh did you just see <laughs> my body just did that where you know when you're anticipating your body tenses different muscles but you never think about oh i'm going to tense these muscles it just does it on its own and your your breast and in fact all of your muscles um your breast sits right on your muscles um on along your chest and the muscles really determine a lot about um, your blood flow, your nerve flow, your lymphatic flow. And so when, um, so when you are thinking and feeling different things, it affects your breast health in terms of the blood flow, nerve flow, lymphatic flow. And what I actually um, consistently see is that your breast health often reflects very much your relationship balance of give and take, of how much you carry the burden of the people that you love, um, how much, um, whether or not it's a free-flowing relationship or a one-way or something blocked in between, but the best actually um, reflects a lot about your relationship with people, especially the ones that you are the closest with and the people who are the most important to you. Um, and, you know, uh, that we, we say how things are close to our bosom, you know, I think it really um, reflects so much um, symbolically, but actually in reality, physically, um, it, it reflects um, completely how our mind and our bodies are connected, reflecting your physical health, mental, emotional health, relationship health, and your entire being in one.